Softball batting grip, door knocking knuckles, zep experiment. There's big bat speed and an effective grip. And yes, this does work for baseball. Hey, what's going on? It's Joey Myers from the Hindi Performance Lab. Question, does using a door knocking knuckle softball batting grip increase bat and hand speed? Well, my intern for the summer, Tyler Derner, who's a redshirt freshman college baseball player, did an experiment using the Zep Baseball app to find out. The experiment setup and research can be found by clicking the link directly below this video under the show more tab if you're watching this on YouTube. The gist of the experiment was that Tyler first took 100 swings using a door knocking knuckle batting grip. Then he took another 100 swings using what I call and I teach the gorilla grip which we'll go over later in the video. I wanted to find out if either grip method increased bat and hand speed. So let's take a look at the experiment results and see how they turned out. For this experiment, I wanted to key in on three specific metrics that the Zep app gave me. One was average bat speed, second was average hand speed, and time to impact. So we're gonna look at the Zep Baseball app screenshots of Tyler's experiment. As you can see, he did the first 100 swings with the door knocking knuckle grip, and then the second 100 swings with the gorilla grip. And as you can see where the arrows are pointing, and comparing the numbers of average bat speed, 69 versus 71 with the Gorilla Grip, 24 hand speed versus 26 with the Gorilla Grip, and then your time to impact was 0 0.180 versus on the Gorilla Grip side, 0.175. So as you can see here, the data analysis and conclusion that both the average bat and hand speed increased by two miles per hour, and we, we saw an increase in time, to, or the decrease in time to impact. One interesting note that when Tyler did this experiment, he was trying to beat the rains that were coming where he was. So he did that first experiment and then rushed into the second one. So he didn't really get much rest time between the experiments. So next time if we were to do this, we'd want to get some kind of rest period between the two tests so that the second test we could get a little bit more accurate data. But still, even with no rest, Tyler was able to increase his bat and hand speed on average by two miles per hour. So in conclusion, so how did we do? Does the door knocking knuckle softball batting grip actually increase bat and hand speed? Well looking at the experiment results we can clearly see that the gorilla grip increased on average bat and hand speed by two miles per hour and also decreased the time to impact. So now I want to show you a quick grip test that I learned from coach Rod Delmonico in his book Hit and Run Baseball so that you can do this with your hitters. So what you can do with your kids is I learned about a grip test from Rod Delmonico in a book that I read that when he was coaching at University of Miami back in the 90s. And what he said was, take your kids and have them put their strong hand up or lay it down. I'm just going to show you so you can see it better. Take the other hand, index finger, put it in the palm, close the hand, try and pull the finger out. Now have your kids do it without batting gloves. Batting gloves just adds a little stickiness to it and could not give you the best results with the test. So have them go bare hand. So there, pull it out. Then have them put the finger in the fingertips like you would see in a door knocking knuckle type of grip. Put in the fingertips, wrap it around, try and pull that finger out. Now chances are they're going to be a little stronger there than they were with the finger in the palm. Now last one is put the finger, lay it base of the fingers, top of the meat of the hand, close the fist, try and pull that finger out. Most likely they're going to be much stronger there and they'll probably pull their finger out of socket before they, the finger comes out. Now that's, like I said, it's just like taking the handle of the bat, either going door knocking knuckles in the, in the fingertips or in the palm or optimal is what I say is here. So we're gripping harder with the pinky, then next harder with the index, the ring, the ring finger, then the index and the ring finger, just kind of nice and loose on the bat. We hook the thumb over, we do that with both hands, and that's going to be our optimal grip. The problem with, a couple problems with going door knocking knuckles is that kids that are seven years old, their hands are tiny, and they're, they're going to be, it's going to look like they're doing this to the bat, and that's obviously not a very strong position. We want to get kids, remember, consistent with their foundation, and if we get them consistent of putting that that handle right there, base of the fingers, top of the meat of the hand, have them close their hand around that. As they grow with that grip, they will start to grow into their hand. So we want to get them consistent in, with that grip. The other problem that we have with the door knocking knuckle grip is that it causes the elbows to get too close together. 
And when you find, when you have optimal grip, is that you're going to see that the elbows are going to have a little air under them. And that's what we want. We don't want them close together. That's not optimal explosive rotational power movement. Well, I hope you enjoyed the softball batting grip experiment video. Make sure that you're swinging smarter by moving better. And before I let you go, the Hitting Performance Lab wants to know, did you know repeatable hitting power does not start in the hips? Have you heard the expressions, load and explode the hips, power comes from the hips? Well, we created a free video revealing the results of a scientific study that will show you how we added 48 feet of batted ball distance instantly and it's not all about the hips. Click here now to get the video while it's still free.